dedication to service. The kids that help bring the Reds on the field. Luke Maley's helper was ready at the meeting. He held a squat catching frame throughout the meeting and then Maley gave him an autograph as he arrived behind home plate. Now all the Reds that take the field greeted by a youngster. How about this moment huh you could say that to everyone at school I met Ellie De La Cruz on the field and got an autograph at shortstop yeah, that's just a great moment right there they did that back when I was playing as well and it was always fun to see those kids out there and have that experience that little bit of time makes a huge difference memories for a lifetime Frankie Montas gets the start and I think it's about fastball command with Frankie Montas and he talked about how the hitters in Seattle last time out didn't offer at that split and I think they didn't because they weren't behind in the count so him throwing strike one working ahead early and getting the chases on the split is really important for his success and after all that that one missed inside 10 pitch walk man that was a really good at bat for Hicks who has the lead off walk so the batter is Mike Trout just one for eight this weekend in Cincinnati there goes Hicks and it's sent right side smothered by Encarnacion Strand. Man, the big fella. Encarnacion Strand moving really well over there at first base. A nice play. He has looked like a third baseman laterally at first base. Yeah. He moves well to be such a big dude. Muntas, home of the 0 1 to Ward. It's a bullet right back up the middle off Muntas. He gathers near the line and throws to first to get the out. And Muntas in some pain and it got him on the arm. David Bell immediately emerges over to third when Hicks. Now athletic trainer Tomas Vera out. That was 101.3 off the bat. Yeah, it looked like it hit him right around the crease of the elbow on his right forearm. That's not going to be good. Well, you saw the way he threw to first after he picked it up, and it was an awkward throw. It's you can it almost looks like Cowboy already it's starting to tighten up on him. And it looks like he's coming out of the game here. So Frankie Montas hit on a comebacker in the opening inning. And you hope and pray it's nothing too significant for him that would go beyond today. Brent Suter, a long option out of the pen. He'll have as much time as he needs. I think it's important to have a guy like a Brent Suter, like a Nick Martinez, guys that can go out there and give you some length. Not a hard thrower, obviously, but a guy who has had all kind of success understanding how to pitch. Look at that opponent's batting average. There's an opportunity right now to do some damage if you're Miguel Sano before he settles in. And again, making a start at third base today in place of Anthony Rendon. Ooh. And that one just missed. He wanted that one. I don't blame him. That's a pretty good pitch. First and third with two gone. And Drury couldn't hold up. He went around on the pitch in the dirt. They'll throw to first to clean up the strikeout in the inning. It is Jose Soriano to make Major League start number three in his career and his first against anybody other than the Tampa Bay Rays. He has outstanding stuff. Fastball is close to averaging 99 miles per hour. A splitter, also a very, very good curveball and slider. But he had that long wait after an injury on the mound. So hopefully he snuck in some throws on this cool afternoon and here's the next one and that's a chase and a miss and a splitter gets Benson he struck him out Ellie De La Cruz bumped up to the two hole be the next batter and the ball in two strikes got it back to back strikeouts have opened the scorebook for Jose Soriano and Jose Soriano has struck out the side to start the afternoon Nick Martini leads it off for the Reds we start the bottom of the second announcing ball hit on the right side right at Renhifo the second baseman will throw him out and there's one quick out here and the one two home a rollover ground ball for Sano his first chance back in a familiar spot and there are two away excuse me swing tapper for Soriano and a one two three bottom of the second this will be a nice battle to watch all afternoon Tyler Stevenson facing Soriano to lead things off in the third just a bouncing ball off his bat here and one out to start the proceedings in the third and he is out looking that was a curveball that froze him struck him out looking two are gone three balls and two strikes oh, that's oh, wow. Strikes wow that wasn't even a shadow pitch inside the box there's Will Benson now after the base on balls first base runner for Cincinnati today on the ground for Sean well nothing comes with the two out walk for Suter it's the most pitches he's thrown 
in a game since July of 22. He has not thrown more than 50 since he spot started in 2020. Rolled right to first. Fire De La Cruz. Return. Yes, sir. Double play. What a bridge by Brent Suter. A seven pitch inning. He has gotten 10 outs in emergency relief. So Ward singles the left. Begin the Angels sixth inning. Missile. Great pick from Bentney Candelario. Two. Got him. The play of the day for this Reds defense. Well, that was not just a great play by Candelario. But watch the turn by Espinal. This ball's in the dirt. He turns it nicely. Sano with another missile. Six strikeouts for Soriano. He's at 75 pitches right now. And a young Angels fan documenting what could be a historic start to the afternoon to the Angels right-handed. One gone for Ellie De La Cruz. Off the fists. Neto can only knock it down. It'll be an infield single for De La Cruz. The no-no spoiled with one down in the sixth. Anytime either infielder leave their feet, it's a, it's a hit against De La Cruz. With a man out, he's still there with two outs. Martini ahead of the count. Chopped right side. Bobbled by Renjifo. Martini on to a board. Now remember, strike two last time. There's a pretty fat knuckle curve middle away. If Soriano makes that mistake again, the CES make him pay. Well hit. Left center. Off the wall. De La Cruz clapping. He scores. Furious windmill. Martini to the plate. The play. Save. Two-run double. Encarnacion strand. And a 2-0 Reds lead. I think you just did say if he makes that mistake on the knuckle curve, does he pay? And pay he did. This ball was just inches away from going out of the ballpark. And Nick Martini with the speed from first base scoring, avoiding the tag at the plate. And Encarnacion Strand, that was a rocket. That was 107. Crush that knuckle curve. Nothing happening at all right now in the Angels bullpen. It's about to happen now. The 2-1. Candelario drives this one high and deep to center field. Trout is back. He leaps. It's off his glove to the wall. It rolls away. Encarnacion Strand scores. Candelario on his way to third. And he is in sliding with an RBI triple. Trout slow to get up at the wall in right center field. He's up now. But the Reds have scored three times in the sixth. That ball was absolutely tattooed. That's two balls in a row that were just squared. And to be honest with you, I thought Trout had it. And then right at the last second, he hit the track, and he just couldn't get the glove up to it. First and third with two gone. And De La Cruz is running. It's popped up. Thice and Sean Well, Oh, no. And Thice is able to hang on. When Pete Rose and Bob Boone in the 80 World Series on that one. Gets up, he's a little groggy right now, but he was able to make the catch, and again, he caught it with his bare hand. Now the Angels down their final strike, and the folks here at Great American Ballpark come to their feet. Popped him up. The Reds sweep the Angels in a city so familiar with the great eight. Eight and a third scoreless by the bullpen for the first time since 2019 and make it eight straight wins against the Angels the longest win streak by Cincinnati against any American League team ever.